Dear Lord, guide my spirit straight and true so that I may give all the glory to you. In Jesus' name, amen. The 2017 hunting season was an emotional roller coaster. Arrested. He's, there he goes, he's going across the field. This is where our new journey begins. 2018 season hasn't even happened yet, but I can promise you one thing. We're gonna live life to its fullest. This, my friends, is what the virtue is truly all about. Those high fives. I can't believe it. Those priceless reactions. Instead of these downward ducks here in Montana. What matters most? It's about second chances. So follow along with Virtue on Carbon TV. Let's head to Iowa, land of the giants. Well, we had a swing and a miss on a old sad daddy. This hunt is very special this week because I'm gonna be up there hunting with my good buddy, Jeremy McCarty and his lovely wife, Julie, who have been graciously invited me up to hunt. But it's much more than that. This is about the red, white, and blue. This is about the men that have actually paid the price our wounded vets. Early season, we got up there, we were doing some scouting, and I was wanting to shoot a big old sad daddy buck. And that's what we did. We done some scouting in the early season, and right at dark, we were driving around, I was getting some velvet footage, and I was running the camera, Jeremy was driving me around, and lo and behold, probably the biggest typical buck that I've ever been able to capture on video. It was gonna be my target buck to go up there and try to hunt. But unfortunately, that buck disappeared. And what I'm hoping is that nobody poached a deer like that because he was truly amazing. And he walked over the tent and I'm finally getting my first afternoon hunt in. Jeremy and I have been hanging stands, checking trail cameras, just going from point A to point B got Colton running the camera. I've got the Elite with the Raptor tricks and they're ready for some slice and dice. There and my goodness, Colton and I, we, we had bucks all over us. But it just, these weren't older mature bucks. And everybody knows when you go into Iowa, you want to try to get one of the best deer that you possibly can because you know they're there. So next thing you know, it's getting close to the first of the year and I had the opportunity to go back up and video some of Wounded Vets. He had a hunt going on there and with the guys there and it's called Renight the Fight. And these were Wounded Veterans from all different branches of the service. It started just busting blood, and I was like, I know. <laughs> I didn't get one. Oh man, I, I was I was candid on the pole, and I, and I could tell like my reticle was candid, and I was just telling myself like just slow, slow breath, pull the trigger, and just wham. <laughs> and I felt it just start pouring immediately. It was like, looks cool at least. There's a CRP creek down here. I mean, he's a big body deer, whatever it is. Could be a good bug. There's a big CRP creek, and we're on over. Some uh, turnips down here should be a good one. So, job well done to my boy. Heck yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. beautiful. He's a good deer. 
beautiful. He's got some crazy character over here, like he got stabbed with a stick or something. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, buddy. Really Thank you for your me. service. And this is a great evening. Sunday, man. We gotta get some deer We gotta get some deer shot so Saturday. we can go out and watch the Titans and Chiefs. It's gonna happen. Saturday at Heck yeah. It's gonna happen. That's We're gonna go watch some playoff we got, football. We gotta get some we more got, bucks killed. We got a lot of great bucks. We got some meat to put in the freezer. <laughs> oh we got some God. more stories to tell. We're trying to want to say thank you I mean getting out here and getting getting to get in the outdoors is honestly the best kind of therapy you could ever have for going through the stuff that we've all done as a veteran in my opinion it's been a special week so far here in uh, southern Iowa so hopefully we have a good evening and Scott and me can punch a few of these doe tags I got in my pocket I'm gonna reload we got another one out at about 300 yards. If we can get situated, we're gonna try that shot. Nice. Back we're just enjoying time. the moment. Tomorrow, me and this guy right here, Mr. Purple Heart, we're gonna get an old sad daddy tomorrow. I'm gonna hit him too you this time. Name yourself. <laughs> Let's just forget about yesterday, today. There you go. Check it off, yep. move on. Toasty. You got backup, buddy. I got, right. I, got, I got your six. That's right, buddy. <laughs> hey, it's an honor here to be with these guys, uh, our vets, and I can't tell you what it means and appreciate Jeremy setting this all up. Uh, this is this is a hunt right here that just touches your heart because these guys have given so much. So it's an honor on my part. Bigger. Is the last buck on the right. Yep. Get, he just come out. Okay, yeah, he is bigger. He's a lot He's taller. He's taller. Yeah, he may have a busted main beam. Wait for him to clear. Yeah, okay. Stop him, you think, or not? Yeah. All right there, buddy. I yeah, get him. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see. There you go. Stop him. Did he? Yep. But I want you all to look at some of this character. He has a unicorn point right here. And then he's got a, a, I guess a double brow tine. And then he's got this big old huge dagger point that's split. He has broken off a huge tine up here. And then he's got a split G2. Heavy, heavy. What, he's probably not even 12 inches wide, is he, Brad? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that monster. <laughs> Holly, good job, man. Yeah, it's not a mag light. It's a. Uh... I look that way and touch him. The Wall of Fame. Hey, these pictures. Say a thousand words at one time. Can you imagine all the memories? This is what it's all about. It's why I hunt right here, and I'm just glad to be a part, a small part of all this group of guys here that sacrifice so much just for this opportunity but they give us our freedom thank you jeremy and julie thank you to all the sponsors of the hunters thank you all the wounded vets you guys are truly amazing i just hope that i live another day that i can do this and give back to all our veterans thank you all and thank you, the viewers, for celebrating this hunt with us because it was very special.
<laughs> First one down, where's the markers? <laughs> and we've done a lot to make this veterans hunt happen and uh, I'm, I'm super thankful. You know, it, it's, it's done a lot for me, but I know um, with all the other vets here, you know, it, it does wonders getting guys out hunting and uh, the camaraderie we've shared over just the last four days. Uh, you can't, it's really hard to recreate that. Um, and, and Jeremy McCarty's done a, a wonderful job in facilitating us all having that feeling coming out here hunting like this. So I just want to say thank you to, to everyone involved in this.